Hello friends, my name is Arvata Karva and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can prepare for MA entrance exam of famous universities in India. We would be covering preparation strategy for MA entrance of University of Delhi, Banaras Hindu University, commonly known as BHU, Jawaharlal Nehru University, that is JNU, Mumbai University, EFLU, University of Hyderabad and Indraprastha University. I would be talking about MA entrance preparation for English literature course. I would be taking you through how to prepare for these entrance exams, what would be the best resources that you can refer to and what are the mistakes that you should avoid making. The first thing that you need to understand is to get into these universities for MA English, you need to fulfill the eligibility criteria. Number one, you have to complete graduation from any reputed college. Now reputed here doesn't mean that it has to be famous. It just means that it has to fall under the category of UGC affiliated universities or colleges. It should not be a private university which no one has heard of. Another important thing that you must note is that graduation doesn't mean that it has to be in the field of literature. That means BA or BA honors English hi hona compulsory nahi hai. For example, if you have done BBA or you have done BSc, even then you are eligible to take up MA entrance exam. So you don't need to have English as the subsidiary subject in your BA. Even then it works, right? So that was the first criteria, which was to do graduation from a reputed university. The second criteria is to have to qualify the entrance exam, commonly called the MA entrance exam. So only if you fulfill these two criteria will you be admitted to these universities for pursuing MA English. Now in this video, I'm going to take you through the entire journey of how you can prepare for the MA entrance exam to get into India's top colleges. For your convenience, I've broken down the entire journey into five steps. But before we start to talk about them, here is a quick message. If you are looking for MA entrance, PhD entrance, UGC net, PGT, TGT exam updates, then please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We regularly post important information related to all these exams. Moreover, we also share quick revision videos on our Insta and Facebook page every Wednesday where we help you revise important topics in less than 60 seconds. So let's begin with point number one. The point one says that you should start preparing for the MA entrance exam from the third year of your bachelor's program itself. Guys, I've seen a lot of students who start preparing just one month before the entrance exam. Understand, it is not possible for any student to cover the entire syllabus in just one month's time. So you must start well before that. Also, most of these entrance exams takes place around May or June when most of the colleges have their final exams of third year. So students are not able to focus on the entrance exam. Instead, they focus all of their attention in preparing for the college exams. So please start preparing one year in advance. I'll tell you what the scenario looks like. Semester begins in January. Then you have your projects in February. March has mock test and final exams happen in April or May. So all four or five months go into these things and you get no time to prepare for these exams. So it is very important that you start preparing one year early. Studying one or two topics every day can help you cover the entire syllabus well within the time. Let us now move on to the second point. Friends, it is very important that you don't undermine the difficulty level of these exams. A lot of students feel that because they have scored 70% in their bachelors, they would definitely be able to clear the MA entrance exam. They think that this isn't a big deal. But what you need to understand is that the best brains from the entire India will be competing with you in this exam. And most of them are toppers from the best universities of India. So the competition is really tough. So even if you are a topper of your own university, you might not be able to clear the entrance exam of universities like University of Delhi or Jawaharlal Nehru University because the questions asked in these universities are different from what you have studied. So wake up from your slumber and start your preparation today. Before we move on to the next point, here is something that I want to share. So if you are preparing for English literature MA entrance, PhD entrance, TGT, PGT 
or if you are doing MA English from IGNU, we have just released separate courses for you guys on our website arpatakarwa.com. Thousand plus students enroll in our courses every year and we ensure each of them to clear their dream exams. So please go and check out the website and see the list of writers that we cover within each of these courses. The link of our website and courses are given right in the description box below. For more information related to these courses, feel free to shoot your queries on the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. And me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. You can also listen to the free demo lectures before you decide to buy the course so that you can familiarize yourself with the course beforehand. Now let us move on to the point three. That is, you need to have a full understanding of your syllabus. See, there are two ways you can prepare for these entrance exams. First way is to follow the bachelor syllabus of the university you are giving your entrance exam for. For example, if you are appearing for the entrance exam of DU, then you must study the entire BA Honours English syllabus of DU. They would be asking questions to master students from their bachelor level syllabus to see if the student is intelligent enough to be admitted in the university for masters. So you should not stick to your university's bachelor level syllabus, okay? So the first way is to study the syllabus of the university. Now, you need to also remember that the BA honor syllabus of these universities are pretty different. You have to first see the list of all the texts that have, has been prescribed in their syllabus and then you have to read the summaries of all those texts. Then you have to also understand and read the detailed analysis of those summaries. For example, most of us would read the summary of Hamlet and feel that okay, we are well prepared for the exam. But they are not going to ask you questions from the main characters. Instead, they would ask you questions from the minor characters of Hamlet like Rosenkurtz and Gildestern. These are two characters who were used by another modern writer to write a play about. Now the question can be, who was that modern writer and what was the name of the play? That modern writer was Tom Stupid and the play was Rosenkurtz and Gildestern are dead. So this is the kind of question that they will ask. Apart from reading the summary, you should also read a lot of other things related to the text. And this is where our UGC net course will help you prepare for the exam. Because we will include all the important text and all the important relevant material that you must know about these texts. Now we will talk about the second way in which you can cover the syllabus. And that is by covering the syllabus of UGC net exam. What you need to understand is that in some universities like JNU and BHU, it is NTA who is conducting the MA entrance exam. And you know, it is NTA which conducts UGC net exam as well. So, sometimes you will find that BHU and JNU's entrance paper will have exactly same questions that you will see in UGC net exam. Huh? Uh -huh. This is the reason why a lot of people recommend that you stick to the UGC net exam syllabus. The only difference is the level of difficulty. So the difficulty level of UGC net is slightly higher than the MA entrance exam. But the syllabus is the same. And by doing this, you can also get the double benefit because the same course that you are preparing for to crack the entrance exam will help you to also crack UGC net exam which will be the next career goal. So make sure that you focus either on the prescribed bachelor syllabus of the university for which you are taking the entrance exam or you focus on the UGC net syllabus. Now for both the options, I have given a Google Drive link in the description below where I have uploaded the syllabus of all these top universities so that you can have a look at them and you can start preparing accordingly. Also, if you want to join our UGC net course, which will guide you on every step, even for your MA entrance preparation for all the top universities in India, and which will prepare you fully for the upcoming UGC net exam as well, then you can log on to our website arpatakarva.com or you can even WhatsApp us and our team is going to provide you complete details about the courses. Now we come to the fourth point and that is using previous year papers in your preparation journey. Previous year question papers are going to save your life guys. Now it is only through previous year question papers that you will know what your approach should be. For example, if you are preparing for MA entrance, you need to first know whether the paper is subjective or objective. 
Is there negative marking for wrong answers or not? And so on and so forth. All these questions will be answered when you go through the MA entrance previous year papers of that university. At the same time, you will also understand which are the areas you should focus more on, what type of questions they ask from different sections, do they ask quotations or do they focus more on questions related to author's life. So it is only through analyzing the previous year papers that you will understand what your approach should be. Also looking at the question paper of different universities, you would know the different pattern these universities follow. For example, BHU paper has more questions on linguistics, whereas about 30% questions in DU question paper are directly from literary criticism topic. And friends, here is a bonus tip. Whenever you are preparing for these exams, you have to focus on understanding the topics thoroughly in order to attempt the questions related to them. You cannot just cram MCQ answers from the exam uh, previous year papers and you can feel as if you will be able to uh, ace the exam. So a comprehension based approach should be used instead of a cramming based approach. For your reference and guidance, I have also attached the question papers of all these different universities of MA entrance in the Google Drive link given in the description box below. If you are looking for MA entrance, PhD entrance, UGC net, TGT, PGT exam related updates, then you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We regularly post important information related to these exams. Moreover, we also share quick revision videos on our Insta and Facebook every Wednesday where we help you revise important topics in less than 60 seconds. Now we will discuss the last point which is that you should always think of the bigger picture when preparing for these entrance exams. You must not restrict yourself and study only the syllabus that will help you clear this entrance. Your approach should be to study all the topics from the point of view of UGC net exam. Because once you clear the entrance test and get into the good university, your next target would be to crack UGC net, of course. So why not study for both at the same time? Another important thing is that you must always study literature in the right way so that you can catch up with the other brilliant students that you will meet in your MA classroom. Your basics should be crystal clear so you perform well not just in the MA entrance but even after that in the university. On that note, I would like to take your leave. I hope the information that I have shared in this video will help you in your preparation journey for various entrance exams. If you have any other questions about entrance, then feel free to reach out on WhatsApp. The WhatsApp number is right on the screen. I request you to share this video and like this video. And also, if you liked this video, you can consider subscribing our channel. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I will meet you very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.